And there's breaking news coming in. Pakistan has violated ceasefire once again in Jammu and Kashmir. The Pakistani side used small arms, automatic and automatics and mortars to target defense and civilian facilities along the LOC in the Pooch district. Balakot and Mankot sector in Mendhar witnessed heavy shelling and firing today morning. Indian forces are retaliating strongly and effectively. Pakistan's indiscriminate shelling of civilian facilities has forced the authorities to shut 72 schools close to the border in Rajori and Pooch districts. And bringing us more details on this breaking news, I'm joined in by our correspondent from Srinagar, Khalid Shah. Khalid, what is the latest that you can bring us? Are there any casualties or loss of lives being reported? Uh, well, uh, certainly there is strong shelling going on from both sides along line of control in Bimar uh, Gali sector of Jammu and also uh, Manjkot and Balakot area of Jammu. Uh, the security forces telling us that the Pakistan uh, retaliated, uh, Pakistan army initiated unprovoked firing and uh, started using small arms and automatics and mortar shells at around 8.45 p.m. Indian and the time, after which the Indian army uh, started retaliating very strongly to the ceasefire violation of Pakistan. Uh, this year we have seen the highest number of ceasefire violations uh, that have taken along the line of control and international borders. Uh, we have seen almost 400 incidents of ceasefire violations which have happened in just two months of 2018. So clearly this is a cause of worry. Pakistan kind of resorting to unprovoked uh, ceasefire violation almost every day and civilian population is facing the brunt because in many areas the civilians have been uh, killed previously in the month of January. And also uh, the infrastructure, the civil infrastructure also receiving massive damage because of these ceasefire violations. Right. Khaled, also, you know, as we speak, there's uh, a militant, uh, there were reports coming in of a militant being neutralized in Bandipora district also, and one is being reported to have been trapped. And the ceasefire violation now happening. Could this also be looked at as a diversionary tactic by the Pakistan army? Oh, well, yes, certainly. The Pakistan army and the ISI is up against anti and Kashmir. We have seen in the last three years how there has been a significant increase and year after year uh, there has been a slur in the ceasefire violations as far as uh, uh, the, the terrorist activities in Jammu and Kashmir. We have also seen an uh, increased number of infiltration bids in which the Pakistani army is trying to push maximum terrorists into Indian territory. So clearly this is somewhat uh, related uh, because the ISI is now wanting to ferment trouble in Jammu and Kashmir to counter India's strategic position. Also uh, to mention here uh, is that uh, we have seen uh, the kind of rhetoric coming in from the Pakistani side and even today uh, the militant who was killed in the encounter in Hajin was of lashkar e -Taiba. So clearly it shows that the Pakistan has a hand whether uh, it be the ceasefire violations or the infiltration bits or the terror attacks that have been happening in Jammu and Kashmir uh, for last many years now. Right, Khalid. Thank you so much for bringing us that quick update.